the werewolves in this game. They look like poop in the last one. Were they in Oblivion? I don't remember. I know they were in Daggerfall and um, Morrowind. No way, they were only in Morrowind. What the fuck? I don't know. In the last game that had fucking, they were all poop. They were all poop except this one. Yeah. You know about Talos? He founded the Empire. Really? Oh, I didn't know from the other hundred people telling me. Okay. Okay. Loot! Loot! Loot? Soon! No. Huh. <laughs> cool. Let's hope, uh, well, apparently she isn't here, because the, the quest says she is, so let's kill her. What way shall we kill her, huh? Huh? What way should we kill her? What way should we kill her? What way should we kill her? Should we tell her we're going to kill her first? Yeah, that seems like more fun. You're not supposed to be in here. Hello? What? Did you need something? Moiri? I can't believe my family trusted that backstabbing little strumpet. You tell her she's dead to us. You hear me? Dead! I have nothing to say to you. Just leave me a Sorry. And I rob her to get insult to injury. This is the last time I'll say it. Get out! I'll <laughs> time to end this little game. What? There was a stone of Benzaria in here? Well, I'm glad it came back. That's fine. <laughs> I just walk out of the house with a bloody sword. I got away with that one. There we go. Let's go to Markarth. Well, what news? Is Elaine? Thank you. That bastard got exactly what he deserved. And I heard about Nilsine. You have more than fulfilled your part of the bargain. Please, take this as payment and a symbol of my affection. I'll never forget you. Murray's ring. Oh. Thank you again for resolving my problem. So, how went your first real contract? Oh, very good. Very good indeed. You, my dear, are going to fit in here quite nicely. Now, Thank you. I need your assistance with a matter of a more mm, personal nature. Can I fuck you? Oh, I mean, is something wrong? It's Cicero. Ever since he arrived, his behavior's been, well, erratic would be an understatement. I do believe he is truly mad, oh, but well. it's worse than that. He's taken to locking himself in the Night Mother's chamber and talking to someone in hushed but frantic tones. Who is he speaking with? What are they planning? I fear, t so you understand my fear. If Cicero's planning something and conspiring with one of our own, it would be disastrous. Dear brother, I need you to steal into that chamber and eavesdrop on their meeting. It'll be no use clinging to the shadows. They'll see you for sure. No, you need a hiding place. Somewhere they'd never think to look. Your like pants. Like inside the Night Mother's coffin. Oh, dear God. Be that as it may, we have no other choice. 
you need to remain unseen. Now go, before they meet, and report back to me with whatever you learn. Aye. Remember, when you kill, we all wield the blade. Are we alone? Yes. <laughs> yes! Alone! <laughs> Sweet solitude! No one will hear us, disturb us. Everything is going according to plan. The others, I've spoken to them, and they're coming around, I know it. The wizard Festus Crex. <laughs> Perhaps even the Argonian and the Unchild. What about you? Hmm? Have you have you spoken to anyone? No. No, of course not. I do the talking, the stalking, the seeing, and the saying. And what do you do? Hmm? Nothing. Not. Not that I'm angry. No, oh, never. Cicero understands. <laughs> Cicero always understands. And obeys. You will talk when you're ready, won't you? Won't you? Yes. Sweet night, mother. Fuck me, Cicero. Poor Cicero. Dear Cicero. Such a humble son. But he will never hear my voice, for he is not the listener. Oh, but how can I defend you? How can I exert your will if you will not speak to anyone? Oh, but I will speak. I will speak to you, for you are the one. Yeah, I called this like three episodes yes, ago. You. You who shares my iron tomb. Who warms my ancient bones. I give you this task. Journey to Wallen Road. Speak with Armand Moutier. Poor Cicero has failed you. Poor Cicero is sorry, sweet mother. I've tried so very hard, but I just can't find the listener. <laughs> Tell Cicero the time has come. Tell him the words he has been waiting for all these years. Darkness rises when silence dies. What? What treachery? Defiler! Debaser and defiler! You have violated the sanctity of the Night Mother's coffin! Explain yourself! Speak, worm! She spoke to you? More treachery! More trickery and deceit! You lie! The Night Mother speaks only to the listener! And there is no listener! She... she said that. She said those words. To you. Darkness rises when silence dies. But those are the words. The binding words. Written in the keeping tomes. 
the signal so I would know. Mother's only way of talking to sweet Cicero. Then it's true. She's back. <laughs> he does a dance. Our lady is back. She has chosen a listener. <laughs> she has chosen you. <laughs> By Sithis, this ends now. Back away, fool. Whatever you've been planning is over. Are you all right? I heard the commotion. Who was Cicero talking to? Where's the accomplice? Reveal yourself, traitor. It's not me, it's not me. I spoke only to the Night Mother. I spoke to the Night Mother, but she didn't speak to me. Oh, no! She spoke only to him, to the listener. What? The listener? What are you going on about? What is this lunacy? It's true! It's true! The Night Mother has spoken! The silence has been broken! The listener has been chosen! Yeah. When I heard Cicero screaming, I knew you'd been discovered. I feared the worst. Are you alright? Then what in Sithis' name is going on? Cicero spoke to the Night Mother. But she spoke to you. Is this just more of the fool's rambling? What? So Cicero wasn't talking to anyone else. Just the Night Mother's body? And the Night Mother who, according to everything we know, will only speak to the person chosen as listener. Jazargo. Hey. Jazargo. What? So subscribe! <laughs>